Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'll be showing you 8 mind-blowing AI tools that you simply can't afford to miss. These tools have the potential to skyrocket your productivity, boost your income, unleash your creative potential and help you analyze data with lightning speed. So recently I dived into the topic of digital products you could sell online using AI tools but as you know having ideas is just the first step but putting the, the ideas into action is where the real challenge is and that is why it's important and essential to optimize your workflow and that can be done with the help of AI tools. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first tool we're talking about is AI image enlarger. So in my last video, I got a lot of questions about how do you um, enlarge or upscale your image um, from images you get you get from me journey for your coloring books or any other project you are trying to do so this website is a website you could use for that so before i show you let's just see what other things the website could do um, apart from being a larger you could also upscale you could enhance use it to sharpen so this is before and this is after um this is before this is after you could use it to remove background the noise and do a couple of things so let's just quickly do that of the enlarging of the upscaling. Let me pull up a picture that I created using Mi Journey. Let me open it. And the picture has an aspect ratio about, of about three, three to two. So you could see how small it is. If you zoom in, um, you could see how grainy it becomes. The, the pixel becomes very, very dull. So let's just bring this picture into um, AI image and enlarger and see what it does. So we just drag the picture and drop and it asks you here whether you want to enlarge it to X or 4X. So let's just do 2X and you click on start. The good thing is that it enlarges it with the um, quality intact and it makes it even clearer you would see. So this is um, progressing. Okay, so it's done. So you just click on download let's click on it and voila this is really really cool it's bigger and it's clearer so let's just zoom in a little bit you could see when we zoomed in the last time this was grainy and you could see how clear this is so you don't need to worry about size when it comes to your coloring books or any other projects you're trying to do just use this enlarger and you get a crisp and clear picture with the size you want of course so the next tool is quibalt so quibalt is um an ai paraphrasing tool which would help you in your writing um it helps you to paraphrase your words depending on where you pick up your words or you want to make sure that your words um has some set of fluency the good thing about this particular tool is you could add it as um, a chrome extension it could also as an extension in your google um docs and you could you know use it from there let's see how it works let's just pick up our, a text that we generated in chat gpt and um paraphrase it so you just pick up this and place into Quibalt and say paste. Once you paste it, let us use the standard modes and say paraphrase. The good thing with this is it shows you where it's changing the words. So you could see it changed the words and the areas are highlighted um, red or orange um, is the words that it changed. So for instance, if you don't like what um, it generated, you could just hit on rephrase and it's going to generate it again and again and again this is a very useful tool i've been using this tool for some time now and it's a very cool tool to use just to paraphrase your words for your blogs for your children's storybook and so many other projects that you have so the next tool will blow your mind so this is a tool you could use to erase any object from a video and this is called um, runaway ml so once you get into the running email, by the way, these tools are free. You're not, it's not paid for. So you just click on um, create project. What you're going to use is in painting. We select that. Then it's going to load and it's going to load um, 
and load a page where you could add your videos so you could choose to add your videos here by clicking upload and select your own video but we're going to use the video the demo assets they have so we'll double click on the demo assets let's just choose this software image here um video here and drag it to the timeline once you drag it to the timeline it's going to load and then we decide what we want to do so we want to remove this um, image of the guy and the surfing board we just want to see just the water so we could just come here at the right and expand let's just say that's the size of the brush and then we could brush across it so let's just brush make sure that we don't get the guy we don't we just we don't want the board so let's just brush across the board as well Okay, everything looks okay so we release and it starts being working and voila it's gone so let's just preview the video and play basically the guy is gone from all the shorts this is really really cool so you could do this with your videos if you just want to remove a specific object so the next one is um removing an object from your image so the previous one we looked at was removing an, ob um, an object from your videos so, but this particular website helps you to remove objects from your images it's called cleanup.pictures like i said these um websites are free do it, it has the paid um, option depending on what you want to use it for but we'll just use the free option so let's just drag a picture in that we want to use so we just drag this picture in okay so once you drag the picture in, it gives you two options it says do you want to use 720 by 720 dimension or um 1024 10 by 2024 if you want to use 1024 you have to try the pro but i don't want to do that so let's just do continue with sd and it opens up the picture so i want to get rid of this card so basically so let's just enlarge the brush down here okay and you could just paint over the cat and what you do is thin the cat is gone so we have small here we just click on that and this picture looks as if the cat never existed in the picture this is really cool so if you want to see how it was before you could come to this eye just click it shows you the previous picture and you click and it shows you the current picture and if you're satisfied with this you just click on download and it downloads the picture for you how cool is that okay so the next one we're talking about is called tome so this one kind of shocked me because i didn't even know it existed till a couple of days ago so this particular one helps you to generate presentation so you have a presentation you need to present um to present to a group of audience or your colleagues at work and you just need to put up an idea together quickly before you start editing this is the tool for you so once you come into tome these are templates that it has then at the very top um, right corner you can see create so let's click on create okay so and we're gonna just say create at the bottom here type in what you want it to create so let's just say create a digital presentation about digital product and we hit enter okay it starts working to create the presentation this is really cool as it's doing this um it's also important to mention that this particular tool is integrated with doll e doll e is another text to image um, ai tool that was generated by the makers of chat gpt that's open ai so the pictures and images that is generated here is um coming from doll e so you would um know so another good thing is um, these images can be edited so once it's done generating you could just click to remove anything you want change colors pictures and so forth so i'll show you from the buttons by the right once it's done generating This is just a very cool way to just start off then you could build a more robust presentation okay so it's done crazy and the good thing is that if you don't like this you just say try again and it generates everything again so the first page it generates it says the topic unlocking the digital world exploring digital products then it gives you an outline 
of what is going you're going to be talking about introduction benefits creating digital products distributing digital products all the way to conclusion this is really cool so here you could choose to even reduce the images if you don't like how it's sitting change the the how it's looking this is really cool then from here you could also see that it's like i said it's connected to dal e so this is a setting for dal e and you could change um the the color the tone the page everything so yeah you could check this out for those who love um who have presentations to do or they love doing presentations you could check um tome out okay so the next product we'll be talking about would be um blue willow blue willow it's another um text to um image ai tool um just like mid journey it's hosted in discord as well as you can see here sitting in discord it's hosted in discord you could ask what's the difference between that and mid journey so currently um blue willow is completely free you could see people are generating images blue willow is completely free at the moment obviously it might get monetized down the road um unlike mid journey in mid journey gives you the opportunity to um generate about 25 pictures and after then you would need to pay to generate more pictures and uh, um, another major difference is that this particular um ai tool uses a different um ai models for their image generation and it, if you you know compare both blue willow and mid journey you will see that the images that they rate are a bit different quite different from what you could see in mid journey so let's just um play around here a bit and see what it's going to give us so you can go to any of their rooms here by the left let's just choose rook we're already in rookie 42 so at the base it works the same way as mid journey you could just put in a slash and say imagine and let's just imagine um fantasy fantasy and enter okay so um once you type in you could see your own image will be at the blue background so you might need to go into um a room that is a little bit le less busy this room is really really busy you could see a lot of people are doing a lot of things but let's just wait and see how it generates the picture and see what kind of picture it generates for us okay so if you're finding value in this video and you like the tools and finding um, value in the tools be sure to like subscribe share send this video to your friends let's all learn and grow together okay so let's scroll down and see if it has generated our fantasy for us okay so this is me so you could see it generated quite good picture let's upscale this so one two three let's upscale the third picture okay so this is us so we have upscaled the pictures you can see how this looks okay and you can see people trying out you know different kind of things so you could check it out and see you know which are you prefer blue below or do you prefer um mid journey so the next one we'll be talking about is my favorite tool canva so canva recently re released an ai um a text to image ai tool within um, the the canva ecosystem so let's check it out so once you come to canva.com it's free go to discover apps so once you click on discover apps you could see here um text to image you could also see it um is a tool that they are featuring at the moment as well so let's just click text to image so you click on that then this opens so it's asking should you use um, an existing design or should you use a new design let's just use a new design so we click on new design and choose a size so let's just choose um something square just to showcase so it loads and once it loads by the left here it gives you an option to choose the style of picture you want to generate so let's just say you want to generate an ad for instance and then you could type in what you want it to generate okay so we could say um let's just use this as an inspiration a light color water a light watercolor painting of coast fish in a pond so let's generate so let's just drop in the picture okay so you could in case you say okay i don't like these so you could just click on generate more and it generates more pictures so you could ask you know this particular um 
tool is very important in case you are designing something in um, Canva and you quickly want to generate a picture that is unique, you could always, you know, use their text to image AI tool to do that. So let's move this aside and find ones that we like. So let's just say we like this. Okay. Or no, let's just delete this and choose this one. Okay. This is really cool. So you could see, so you could generate more, just play around with it and see how it works, you know, in detail. Okay. So the next we'll be looking at is Microsoft Excel. So Microsoft Excel is very popular. We know what it is. It's used for um, data analysis for a lot of things. Another thing that um, these companies are doing that we need to integrate AI into their tools. So we could use this to do a bit of analysis. So we, I have a demo data here. This is over six, 8,000 rows, and this is just a sales data. And you just want to have um, a quick overview of what the data is about. So you could just select the columns that have data. And once you do that, at the very top, you see here, analyze data, just click on it. And by the right, it starts analyzing. It's going to analyze and give us a bit of an overview of what the data is about. You can even create very cool charts and graphs for it. And um, this is a very useful tool because it gives you insight into the data and probably gives you information you never thought about while you were analyzing your data. So let's see. So it gives you opportunities to ask different questions and even gives you some charts already for different companies so let's just say for instance that we want to insert this um pivot table of total cost by product um, category name so just say insert pivot table and voila it tells us the different you know categories uh, manufacturers it gives you some you know grant information you could choose to have this um pivot table it um formatted in a different way so let's look at something else in terms of the questions you could say let's use play with this so this is total sales or total quantity by brand let's insert it as a pivot table okay so once you invite inside this as a pivot table you see it gives you sales quantity by brand name just instantly this is really cool so you could check it out in terms of when you are doing um analysis it helps you with you know quick information before you start doing in-depth analysis on your data set so the next one we'll be looking at is notion ai so notion is also a very popular productivity um app that provides you know flexible and all-in-one workspace for you know organizing your notes tags database it helps you to just manage projects and collaborate with others they recently um, announced their AI tool and um, the AI tool, you know, has the ability to do a lot of things. So you could also, you write, you could write blogs within your Notion um, template or within your Notion um, setup already. It could give you ideas for promotional ideas. You could use it to even translate. You could use it to help you create social media posts. It's really, really good. From the breakdown I've seen, I tried to test this. So this hasn't launched publicly yet. It just has a waitlist. I decided to, you know, try to um, join the waitlist, and I was about 1.5 million in line, something like that. So it's a very long waitlist. But once this tool is out, I'll be sure to review the Notion AI. So these are the eight AI tools I wanted to cover. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. And stay tuned for the contents that would go live very soon on the channel. And thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.